Get everyone, B Asian Dad here. We're going to do the unboxing and first impression of this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3. It's a 15 inch notebook and it does have a fair bit of power in there. So the X1s are one of the top of the lines for the ThinkPad range and they use a uh, lightweight. Now this one is got a bit of power but we'll see how this one goes. Now this one's been sitting in my desk for a little bit of time for a couple of weeks. I just had not had time to unbox it. I accidentally did wipe it up and found out oh this is the extreme third generation that finally arrived. Uh, so I have unfortunately cut the sticker off but I have not actually unboxed it. So this is my very first time seeing this product here. Now I will be creating a follow-up video of this X1 Extreme Gen 3 once I've spent some time with it and I will put the link in the description below when that is made available. Uh, so for those that's joined me for the first time I just look at the specs I actually don't actually look at the picture itself and then I just unbox and just see how that goes so as you see me my reaction is the first time I'm actually meeting this laptop for the very first time here now actually with the gen 2 I have not ever seen the gen 2 neither but uh, I've got I mostly do the workstation class so that's the P range and the T range so X1s I've done X1 carbons uh, but this one here is one of the ones I don't normally get uh, because it is just one of those g-forces that I don't normally get because I get the controls in but it's gonna be fun to see what this one is I'm very excited to see what it is so let's get on with it so let's all right I'm just gonna unpack the butt part here now it's got a quite a bit of a bit of a base here now I'm just gonna pop this one through now as always as you always love those who, who are returning to me I love to see what's in the power adapter here so let's just kind of bring this out here oh what is this one got any more in there let's have it come down okay that's the free pong there I'll just chuck that away so I've got three prong with my power, which is great. Oh, now this is surprisingly small. Uh, I do have the GeForce 1650 Ti. Uh, it does have like the Max-Q version of it. So I had that configured in this one here. So I was expecting maybe some bigger power supply, but this is actually quite a small power supply for 16. Now it is a 130 watt power adapter, which is great. And of course there's the little Lenovo um, square plug, which they're used to it. So they're proprietary for that one there. But this is quite light. I'm actually liking the shape of this one here. It's actually quite light for 135 watt. It's actually smaller than the Dell, so it's actually doing really well. Uh, so that's just plugged into here, and that's about it. So I'll get back to that one there in a way. Alright, so let's continue on. Let's have a look at the laptop itself. Ooh, I'll just pull that out. Oh, and then we've got those. We don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, we've got some documentations. We don't need that as well, too. So anything else? More documentation? Great. Don't need that. And that's it. Empty for the box. I'll just chop this down here. Alright, let's get break this one up here. So let's kind of do this. Oh. There we go, just go through that seal. Up, oh, let's bring this in. Oh, we got a nice, it's, this is the whole magnesium car chassis sort of, it's got very nice. I can see some straight away some, I can see two fans underneath there. So we know this can, can probably take a bit of heat of there as well too, which is good. Now, I'm just gonna flip it around. Oh, got that nice sort of matte feel to the whole entire, X1s, I do like the X1s for those. Oh, that's actually, that's quite light there. And it's, it is, I think it is about 1.7 kilos, uh, which is quite light for a 15 inch with this kind of amount of power. So that's decent, that's not bad at all. And um, it's not crazy thin. I, I do also own uh, 15, uh, Dell XPS 15 9500 uh, series and that one there was the one that competes with this one as well too. That one came a little bit earlier than this one here uh, but this one actually came a little bit later on there. and that was a lot more thinner than this one but I'm gonna have to say I'm going to like this one maybe a little bit more just because of the ports. I can straight away see the ports. So let's go look through the ports anyway. So looking on the left hand side, we've got the headphone jack, we've got the HDMI cable. Now I have the feeling that's maybe HDMI version 2. I will double check that. And then we've got two USB-C, which is uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which will also take on Thunderbolt. If you have it configured, more of this one I do have is configured. And then you've got the AC power port here. Now around the back, there is nothing there. And then we on the right hand side, we've got the security lock slot and then two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, they're type A ports. And then one of them on the right hand side can support PowerShare 
or power always on and then we've got a full size SD card reader I like when there's a full size SD card reader because I've got my, all my cameras so it's really designed for a creator which is good and that's about it nothing on the front and that's about all there is so straight away I can see this is really nice all right let's slowly do while I'm down here let's do the one finger test let's see how the hinge goes now interestingly enough I can I've already noticed something here is there's no exhaust vents on the sides uh, so it's going to be very similar to like the max where actually he's going to be on the behind the hinge is what I'm thinking so we'll find out when I bring this up so one finger let's see how this does I'll just lift it up oh yep takes a little bit there and then after that it's pretty smooth once it hits to that point oh very nice I'm liking it so far and of course and we've got 180 degrees for the hinge now I'm just gonna do the hinge very quickly one more time just the very start of it just to double check in a way because sometimes when it's really new uh, it's a little bit no nope, no nope, it does have a little bit of grip there so let's just do the hinge test for does it kind of bit open up a little bit when I'm holding it from the hinge side and it looks to be pretty good on this side here from this side here I can see there's a little bit of a gap uh, on that side there but over here this side is definitely no gap there but it doesn't really open wobbly there so it's the hinge is closing itself and keeping it steady there so it's not too bad and like I said it's pretty smooth once you get to that point and it's a very smooth consistent um, workload so nice and again I can see the exhaust fence is all the way along behind the hinge I'm not really a big fancy on those two there now I can see interesting enough there is two types of uh, vents I see the large vents on both sides and then I've got the small vents on the middle so I'm taking this it will be breathing in this way here coming back out from the sides that's what I'm suggesting anyway but all right I'm just going to bring one of my helpers in what do, 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 do. all right here so let's just give this a little bit of angle just to make things easier now I'm going to bring this light down here so hopefully you'll be able to see this down there as well now okay now straight away keyboard typical thinkpad keyboard the textures on each key is very smooth and this one has a backlit so I do realize that the backlit ones have a smooth texture for each individual keys and you've got a fair bit of nice good key travel there uh, it's not unusual because thinkpad keyboards are well known to be really good especially for programmers I love them in a way good spacing in between as well and at the top here nothing nothing different from 2020 or 2021 uh, you've got the video conferencing and the customization button on the f9 to f12 as well too and of course with the function key on the very bottom left of course uh, whereas the control key is the second on there now you can change that in bias or you can also change that in the hotkeys in the Lenovo keyboards um, so, yeah, so in the software in Windows you can actually change flip that around if you get annoyed if you're not used to the function key on the very left hand here so now it's for while I was mentioning about the backlight it is function spacebar will actually initialize the different um, backlight and it usually is about three settings so off low and high and that's pretty much it now I'm gonna connect power to this to boot it up so I've got one pre-prepared here so I've got a power adapter here so let's plug that in uh, and I've realized reason for to plug that in is just in case it does turn on in shipping that these will run out of battery so uh, Lenovo on the very first boot you do need to plug it into power to actually boot it up anyway so and then we'll just boot it up here now I can see we've got ample good amount of space on the palm rest so that's really good I can see that's very nice and the trackpad has some very nice really nice actually feel to it on the trackpad here it is a very good size I think it's not overly crazy big and it's not overly small it's actually quite I like the size of this one this has got a very good size for a trackpad now the actual texture of it is got a bit of a very what I'll call velvet sort of smooth glass feel to it uh, but not a glass feel to that one there and it is mechanical so it's mechanical at the bottom it's hinged at the top so it's mechanical and press all the way down here and I'm, I'm very sure this is going to be multi gested base as well too now of course we've got the good old g-spot in the middle or the track point uh, because I have all the keyboard nip I would of course call it as well and we've got the three 
buttons below the space bar to support that tra track point as well too so that's good to see awesome that now just bringing itself up try to maybe go through windows uh we can hopefully see something there around down here which is kind of good in a way so overall the screen terms of the screen wise we've got it's not 16 by 10 it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so we've got a bit of bezel on top and we've got a bit of a fair bit of bezel on the bottom here as well too and the sides they're doing all right they're actually i'll say medium thin for the sides and as for the quarter of the thing it's not too bad i'm going to see if i can bring this thing up as bright as i can and that is as bright as this one can here now i don't think i've got the touch one now i don't have the touch one in here so so not too bad now i will test out the speakers uh in my review video now i can just have a quick check i can just see that the speakers is there are only two speakers on the bottom uh, on each side and they're pretty much forward facing there now i do expect these speakers to be at least half decent because i can see straight away there's got a dolby atmos uh speaker system there which is okay not too bad i don't think i've actually heard a really nasty one at all from lenovo and i think this x1 range has been doing very very well for speaker side uh, so, so i expect that when i do to now i can also see this one's got a fingerprint reader now this, surprisingly the fingerprint reader is actually located on the very right hand side right next to the keyboard rather than down where near the trackpad so that's normally an interesting place i can see that there and of course we've got the i think it's a 720p webcam on top i'll double check on that but i think pretty sure it's a 720p webcam on top and it's got the privacy shutter so there so you can actually uh, flip the switch around i can see it go red which means it will just means like that anyway now that's just a quick first look into the x1 extreme if you find this video informative or even just to support my channel smack that like button for me and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button as well i do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video